My name is Hamizan Akmal. For introduction, in the Karen area, student safety is one of the upcoming problem. Accident fire is now uh, is one of the hazard affecting student safety. Nowadays, there are many systems used to detect fire. However, no proper fire management system can be found in student hostel. Consequently, the resident of hostel can lose their life due to the serious injuries caused by this unfortunate event. There are many things that can cause fire in a dormitory such as a candles where students might something place it at the wrong position uh, such as close to their bed or curtain. Most common cases are where students cooking in the dormitory which may also cause fire where they did not disconnect the gas tank with the stove. Other issues such as uh, short circuit, uh, electronic appliance multi uh, malfunction, there is no fire alarm or, or no fire extinguisher available. It's also uh, added on to the problem. We come up with a solution which may help the equipment which is the emergency line glow in the dark. This emergency line work as a guide during dark situation or talk thick smoke uh, where victim will not be able to see clearly but there may follow the glowing line that is on the floor until they reach to the safety point. I am leaning, I will visit about objective. First, Produce the mixture of light refer in the dark. Second, the position of residential occupants of need for redirection sign in event of fire or emergency. Three, uh, observe the effectiveness and brightness of the product in the dark. Okay, problem statement. First, fire incident in the city have crime many life because the victims were unable to get out of the fire building. Second, failure of technology fire prevention system prior in a public building. Third is some individuals stay inside the building during fire due to difficulty finding a way out. Okay, uh, for the line size, we use JKR standard which is the width of the line is 150mm. Uh, the length of the line is 1000mm. Uh, and the space between the edge line or corridor is 125 mm. Assalamualaikum, my name is Izati and I will explain about the impact of the study. So the impact of the study can be applied to the occupants of residential buildings in the event of an emergency such as fire or power outage. This is our method. First, we will start with project discussion and came out with the idea of making emergency line globe in the dark. And then we will identify the problem statement and it goes to methodology and goes to materials we will use, which is epoxy clear paint, phosphorescent paint, and phosphorescent powder. And then we came out with cost estimation and then we will produce the product. And then we will do the product testing, which is if the if our product glow in the dark, then we will proceed to occupants feedback. But if our product didn't glow in the dark, and then we need to produce it back. This is the process of work of making our product, which is we prepare all the materials first, and then we will weight the paint using an electronic scale, and then we will mix all the materials according to the measurement, and then we paint the product mixture on the wooden board using a paintbrush. And then we will wait until the paint is dry, and it took 30 minutes. And then we will test the brightness in the dark corridor, stairs area, and parking area. Good afternoon to our fellow panels. My name is Hudson John, and I'm going to present for our finding result. So from objective one, produces the mixture of light reflects in the dark. We have managed to produce a glowing pen by mixing powder, glow pen, and epoxy clear pen. We weigh all three materials and use the following ratio 2 glow pen, 1 glow powder, 1 clear pen. And the ratio shows as above. And for our next objective, we have managed to get the perceptions of residential occupants of the need 
for directional signs in event of fire or emergency. So questionnaire was distributed among 40 students of Polytechnic Kuching, Sarawak. We are using the Google Form platform and there were 10 questions regarding the fire safety in the hostel. From the results shows that 91% of the students has agreed to the invention of this product. For the finding result, corridor, in the dark corridor side, we put the emergency line glow in the dark. From the result, this can show that the brightness is clearly if the lighting system is not functioning. This can help occupant to see the emergency line because easy to find a way out during a fire incident. Uh, for the parking, from the result, this can show that the level of effectiveness is very good while the level of lighting is quite bright in the parking. This can help uh, occupant to see the emergency line more clearly at night. Next is test. Uh, based on the picture, this shows that the emergency light can help the occupants to show the direction of the way out of the building during a fire accident. Discussion. The results show during the process making the product produce three samples of the mixture with different ratio to compare the brightness of each sample. After observation and compare each of the sample, we decide to choose sample two because the glow is brighter than sample one and sample three. The position of a residential in Polytechnic Kuching Sarawak Hostel saw that the 71% of residents agree the innovation product is suitable to use in the hostel. Buildings especially when breakout or emergency happen at night, with surrounding of uh, PKS hostel is quite dark at night. As a conclusion, the mixture was successfully produced according to the specified procedure. And throughout our observation, the brightness of our product has reached our expectation. This product may help residents to escape a building in case of a fire emergency or power shortage. And next one is from questionnaire. The result shows that 71% which is the majority of the respondent has agreed to this product. Lastly, Emergency line glow in the dark is one of the product that may contribute to the safety of our society. And that is all from me. Thank you.